Hey YouTube, I'm back again with uh, another pickups video. Um, I've fallen a little behind. Uh, it's been just over two weeks since my last uh, update. Uh, so we've got quite a bit of stuff to get through. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so going back, not last week, the week before, uh, during my charity shop rounds I uh, grabbed $3.99 the Michael Palin collection 16 disc set uh, this is really really nice I, I, I was shocked when I saw this on the shelf and then I saw the price like my goodness so inside flat comes down we have individual sets of Around the world in 80 days, pull to pole, Sahara, Himalaya, Great World, mm, try again, Great Railway Journeys, Hemingway Adventure, and Full Circle. Uh, now I've seen Full Circle. I've seen Around the World in 80 Days and I've seen Pole to Pole. I don't believe I've seen any of the others. But yeah, this is a great set. Uh, and for, for four pounds, um, I'm well chuffed. I'm really, really, really happy with that. Brilliant set. Uh, and next from the charity shops, I got uh, for one pound Roy Chubby Brown live King Thong and uh, this was from I believe it's Sue Riders and uh, yeah that was a pound uh, also Billy Connolly's World Tour of New Zealand this was in the uh, two for a pound bin Do this set, uh, and then the other half of the two for a pound. Uh, grab this. Collect two unseen extra unseen extras, exclusive to Total Film. Uh, I guess this came free with a magazine or something. Um, oh, I have clerks two on a US. Uh, HD DVD and some of these extras are on that DVD but not all of them so I don't know for 50p it was worth grabbing uh, then from the British Heart Foundation uh, another Scooby-Doo this is uh, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico this was 99p always happy to pick up uh, Scooby-Doo animated movies that I don't already have that was good uh, and then from, I forget, oh, Age UK, 99 pence each. And I got the director's cuts of Demons and Demons 2. Um, now, I do own both of these uh, on Blu-ray from Arrow. Um, but I don't know if the Arrow editions are director's cuts on. I don't know, the running times are different on these compared to the Blu-rays, but then... The different frame rates compared to DVD and Blu-ray, the, the, the running times are going to be different anyway. So, uh, yeah, I need to do some kind of comparison, I think, with these just to see how much, if at all, they are longer. Uh, and next, from the uh, Daisy Chain uh, Mega Warehouse um, charity shop. Uh, these two, the five for two pound on DVDs. Uh, he got Pompeii with a lenticular. Lentic lent gosh, I can't speak tonight. What's going on? Lenticular slip cover. Very nice. Conan the Barbarian. Uh, again with a slip cover. I haven't seen any of those. 
Season of the Witch, another lenticulous look cover. It's not a bad movie, it's not a fantastic movie, but uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. Then the Butterfly Effect 2. Uh, I picked this up yesterday um, on Blu ray as part of a, uh, uh, it was a set of all three Butterfly Effect movies for a quid. Um, which you can see that in uh, in my previous video, I grabbed a, a bunch of Blu-rays for a pound each. Um, so this now really is surplus to acquire, but I bought this you know, nearly two weeks ago, so I did not have the time. There you go. And then this last one was just filler. Um, I needed a fifth one to make the five. I couldn't find anything else. So brand new, factory sealed. Uh, True Blood. The complete first series. This will just go in to trade at uh, CEX. Um, just equivalent to forty p is what it cost me. Uh, the trading isn't. I think it's about one pound fifty. It's not that much, but it's it's still a little bit uh, that I can put towards something else. Uh, then off eBay, I grabbed HD DVD Tideland. Again, this is another one I've managed to grab. Uh, since buying this, um, also in yesterday's uh, video, uh, I picked up a huge HD DVD collection, uh, very cheap, although I had to drive over to Liverpool to, to grab them. But even so, um, I worked it out that they cost about 37 pence each. And I paid a lot more than 37 pence for this, but uh, it is what it is. I didn't know at the time when I was buying this that I was going to find another one. You know, this, when I saw this, it was the first time I'd seen one for a long time. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's uh, Terry Gilliam. So uh, he, for me, he's quite hit and miss. I like when I like his films, I really like his films, but then when I don't like his films, I really don't like his films. Uh, I don't know much about this one, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, and then this last lot for the week before last, um, I used one of my many vouchers that I got from CEX when I trade stuff in and bought a bunch of Blu rays uh, off the website. So, um, firstly, Final Fantasy. Um, I think this was one pound fifty, um, which I thought was uh, not a decent price. I remember seeing this at the cinemas way back in, I think it was, was it two thousand or two thousand and one, uh, and it blew me away at the time. The, um, the CG was fantastic. Uh, I think I've seen it on DVD once or twice since then, but not for a long time. And I was I was just curious actually to see how well this stands up today, because obviously the CGI today is uh, advanced a lot. And it was still really, really good. Um, the CGI holds up for the most part, but some of it, it looks quite dated. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and uh, definitely happy to watch that again. Uh, then I got the Three Musketeers uh, 3D. Uh, a few Sundays ago, I'd been watching a film on Film 4. Um, I was at my parents and just getting ready to leave. And the next film coming on was this. I watched the first few minutes of it and thought, that looks okay. Uh, and I think this was two quid. I'm sure, it was only two pounds. It might have been two pounds fifty. Um, but yeah, for a 3D movie, I was uh, I thought I'd uh, give it a go, and I've watched it, and I really enjoyed it. And the 3D on this actually is uh, a lot better than I've seen on on some films. It was uh, it was very very good the 3D. So yeah. then I got Resident Evil Afterlife. I've been wanting to get a 3D copy of this for a while. Um, this was the very first movie I ever saw at the cinema in 3D. Uh, and again, the 3D was excellent. Um, it was really, really good. And, and I've uh, been disappointed for the most part after this. Um, the films that I've seen at the cinema in 3D, there's, many of them have been poor in comparison. 
uh, I think the yeah uh, something like this that's filmed in filmed in 3D looks a lot better than those movies that are converted to 3D afterwards. Uh, at least that's that's my opinion. I, mean, I don't know. How. Anyway, do enjoy that film. Uh, I grabbed Sex Drive. This is just a really really good uh, road movie comedy. Uh, love that. And on the Musketeers theme, I saw this, so I had to grab it. This is Three Musketeers. This is the 1970s version with uh, Oliver Reed and Michael York and uh, Christopher Lee and various other Charlton Hestons in it. Um, but yeah, I really, really love these. Um, growing up watching uh, both of these and they did uh, um, another sequel in the 80s I believe as well, The Return of the Musketeers but yeah that's a really good film and to get that obviously I had to get the Four Musketeers as well which was the direct sequel to the, that first one um, again with pretty much the same cast uh, and then a couple more 3D movies Step Up 3D this is the third movie in the Step Up series um, I do like these. Um, I've only seen the last one, I think, in 3D. I haven't seen. I didn't do the first two in 3D. Um, but they did 3, 4, and 5. Uh, so, yeah, I also got a 4 as well in 3D. So, that's pretty much everything from not last week, the week before. But then last week, uh, again, did my usual charity shop runs. Um, I didn't do it on Friday, but it'd been Good Friday, bank holiday, and I thought I'd, pretty much the uh, charity shops are going to be shut. So uh, I was off on Thursday as it happened. I uh, took uh, an extra day's holiday for the weekend, uh, so I had to wander around on Thursday. Uh, so, from again, Sue Rider Shop. Girl interrupted. This was part of the two for a pound. Uh, some different titles in there from the previous week, uh, and also Rushmore. Uh, again, that was part of the two for a pound. Didn't realise until actually I got back. Um, this isn't a UK release. It's actually an Australian release. So it's a Region 4 disc. That doesn't make a lot of difference because my HD DVD player is Region 3 anyway. So, uh, but yeah. Then for a pound, the Grand Budapest Hotel. I saw a trailer for this quite recently and I thought that looks really, really good. Uh, and then when I spotted it for a quid, I thought definitely getting that. And then finally from that, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Really, really love this film. Such a good, cheesy comedy movie. Uh, then, moving on to that Daisy Chain again. That mega huge charity shop. Uh, five for two pounds. I grabbed Apocalypto. Again, this comes with a slip cover. Never seen this. Uh, they're good things. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, rogue. How fast can you swim? This looks like a uh, monster alligator movie. Uh, total blind buy. Don't know much about it, but uh, yeah, give it a go. Uh, another blind buy. Satan's little helper. Just intrigued by the, the cover and the uh, synopsis. I'm going to give that a go. Uh, then Eddie Murphy Raw. Great uh, stand up from the 80s. Uh, absolutely love this. And then finally, in the five for two quid, I uh, got Dynamo, Magician Impossible. Again, this was just a filler. I needed a fifth. Because um, it was difficult, even though I got so, so many. There's uh, finding five is really difficult because most of what they've got is so badly damaged. Finding five with decent discs, 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll maybe just watch this and then trade it in. I, I don't think I have any interest in, in keeping this. Then, also from the charity shops, uh, for 99p, this came from the Salvation Army, Jack the Giant Slayer. Uh, looks interesting, I've never seen it. <coughs> uh, and from, where did I get these from? Oh, the British Heart Foundation. Uh, I have no doubt that this is going to be awful, but I was just so intrigued. Two-headed shark attack. Uh, straight away the cast, Carmen Electra, Brooke Hogan. You know it's going to be bad. It's just going to be so, so bad. But, uh, yeah, I still want to give it a go. Uh, and then, High Fidelity. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this. Um, I can't remember much about it. Uh, but I do like John Cusack, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. And then this is the next lot all came via uh, internet, be it eBay or Amazon or wherever. So, firstly, from eBay, another HD DVD, Hooligans. I think I paid four ninety nine for this. Uh, this is, is it a Dutch or German? I'm going to guess it, it's a Dutch release. Uh, obviously, this, this was released in the UK as uh, Green Street, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, another one to add to my collection. Uh, then we have uh, to go into my Real Heroes slipbook collection. Wrap the Big Lebowski Blu ray. Uh, absolutely love this movie. Didn't always. Uh, I rented it on VHS when it came out, um, and I didn't like it. And I can't tell you why I didn't like it. I just didn't like it, and it took me until 2008, I'm going to say, when I got hold of this again on a in a bunch of HD DVDs, and I watched it, and I loved it, and I've loved it ever since. Uh, so it was a no-brainer grabbing on this again. This was this was a fiver off eBay. Uh, and also from eBay, some shameless entertainment. Uh, this is spine number 45, uh, Sister of Ursula. Uh, this is limited. Uh, 493 of 2000. No, 893 of 2000. Uh, and also from Shameless, this is the New York Ripper, uh, the fan edition, and this is fan number 23, uh, from face.com, some Arrow, Spider Baby, uh, this was just over six quid, what I didn't have in my collection, so I'm very chuffed to grab all of that. Uh, and then something from eBay, these are Australian releases, a TV show called Hoosers. Uh, now the guy that uh, created this series did a series in the 2000s called Pizza, also known as Fat Pizza, and I absolutely love that programme. Unfortunately, there's very few DVDs available of the series. In fact, there's only one DVD available um, of the final series. Uh, the first four series were never released. And then there's, there are odd uh, specials and uh, a couple of movies. Uh, so when this series came out, um, I, in fact, I didn't even hear about it for a couple of years. And I've seen odd episodes on YouTube and these came up on eBay and I thought well, I'm gonna have to get them uh, and they are absolutely hilarious love it really really do uh, and then finally some steel books uh, these came from the Disney Rewards program um, The Nightmare Before Christmas uh, trading 1200 points to get this but, uh, yeah, I'm really happy Another great movie. Uh, and then Zavi's sale last week. 
Um, I believe these were six ninety nine a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got Face Off, another great film, and I'm gone in sixty seconds. It's a long time since I've seen this, but I do uh, I do remember enjoying it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to checking. Not out in fact, I'm looking forward to checking most of this stuff out. Some that I've already seen in the past, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, two weeks worth. Um, I've got more stuff coming, <laughs> of course. Uh, Easter weekend, there was quite a few sales. Um, got some stuff from the Zavi sale. Uh, even Shameless had a sale this weekend. Uh, so I just some stuff off them. Arrow had a sale. I've ordered some stuff off them. Uh, um, I've got some more stuff coming from eBay, climbing. Um, and then April, the amount of uh, pre-orders for April is scary. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm rambling again. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Ta-da.